What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Hidden Fates pack battle. We are going to be competing with Wolfie and D. Uh, we're going to be opening a Charizard Hidden Fates tin, uh, and we're going to see who can get the better pulls. <clears throat> So the way it's going to work is uh, there'll be a link down below to their channel and video and essentially we're looking to you guys to tell us who you think got the better polls in our Hidden Fates tins and uh, so if you're not familiar with the channel definitely go check them out and uh, subscribe to them if you like their content uh, and if you're coming from their video uh, welcome um, yeah welcome to the channel we do essentially daily videos and we've been uh, doing tons of Hidden Fates content, no big surprise there. Uh, if you do check out their channel, uh, tell them that you got sent from the I Want a Turtle channel. And if you're checking us out for the first time, uh, we actually have a giveaway going on where we are giving away one of these tins actually. So at the end of the video, there will be a square thing with a, where you can basically access that video so make sure you check that out and enter the giveaway <clears throat> the winner will be announced on whoa sorry about that on friday so we have our four packs one of each pack art here is a code card for that sweet charizard and for the card himself sometimes these things do get a little damage but this one looks pretty clean when it comes to the Charizards, I'm I'm not sure where this guy will land as time goes on. <clears throat> I think he's a really cool card, but in a set with multiple of him, two different arts, and everyone looking for the shiny variety. You know, some of the even like the promo Charizards, they I feel like they have good longevity. I'm not sure about this one, to be honest. <clears throat> All right, let's get into our first pack. Reminder, uh, this is kind of a viewer's choice, so let us know in a comment who you think got the better pulls. Hopefully we can get something good. We only have four packs, so it's gonna be tough. For our first one, we have a Magmar, Scyther, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Geodude, a Cubone, Eevee, uh, Misty's Water Command for our first rare slot, and a Zapdos, sorry, I guess that's a Examples of foil. Two foils. <laughs> for this set, that doesn't count for much. Let's go on to our second pack. If you guys have yet to join the Discord, I definitely encourage you to do so. Big shout out to Pokemon Lover95 for setting things up, and I believe he's planning some pretty insane giveaways from the Discord as well. So if you want to check it out, link in the description to find the Discord. A couple people mentioned like, oh, well, I don't have a Discord. It's one of those things that's free to sign up. Uh, very straightforward. All right, we have Brock, <coughs> Jigglypuff, Caterpie, a Paris, Psyduck, Charmander, a Weezing. I feel like this, I think this card's actually pretty good, but not one I like to see. Oh boy. <laughs> I think we're gonna do pretty good in <laughs> Tapu Coco. To be honest, like, um, of the PTCGO that I have played, I've used Tapu Coco. By the time I started playing, Tapu Lele was already gone. Actually, no, she wasn't gone, but I used Tapu Coco a lot in my Pika Rom deck. It is such a good card. It can come into play. When you play it, you can move it into the active and then just use, like, Tapu Thunder or I guess the Sky High Claws is sometimes nice, but a very good. Kind of like surprise attack, kind of like what Heatran is right now. Oh man, another gold card. Wolfie, D, you guys are going to need to pull something insane. Whew, I'm feeling confident. <laughs> yeah, so definitely go check out their video and report back who got the better pulls. I feel like whenever we've done battles, more often than not, we've gotten smoked. I think one time we faced Mama Kang's God and we didn't get anything and every single of her packs was like a full art or better but this time mmm feeling good hopefully it is a great battle and for our third pack yeah we still got two more we got still two more shots coughing 
Clefairy, Staryu, a Mew, not a great card. In fact, this is a super boring card, but I do like the art. And then we have, oh my. Maybe one of my best tins, Guzzlord GX. Oh, I love this card too. Feeling I feel like I'm pulling a lot of cards that are sentimental for me, especially when it comes to PTCGO. A kind of a silly joke deck. Just put a few of these guys in there and a bunch of darkness energy. Uh, you have to mulligan. Your opponent might get an extra five cards, but turn one or if you go second, I guess you kind of want to go second, and then you eat sloppily, and then you're already all set for the tyrannical hole, 180 damage. Pretty, it's not ter it's not terribly hard for your opponent to disrupt you, but it's pretty fun. <laughs> Surprising how many games you can win just by doing that. So, man, a gold card and a shiny GX. What's a what's a curse? <laughs> and uh, if you're coming from from Wolfie and D's channel, man, we had a rough start to Hidden Fates. Took about I think 50 some odd packs to get our first shiny GX. Not our first gold card. You're doing pretty good on gold cards. All right, here we go. Let's get something. Eh, no, I think I. Uh, Asking for anything else is pushing it. We already got an amazing tin. Very happy with our pulls. But we have Pikachu, Clefairy, Brock's Training. Oh, we got both Brock and Misty. And then a Clefairy. Yeah, this this uh this tin had everything. A reverse hollow, Brock and Misty. Although we don't really care about those anymore. But then our big hits, Guzzlord GX. This is a good shiny too. I love that. And gold card, Tapu Coco GX. Woo! But uh, yeah, make sure you go check out uh, their video and let us know who you think got the better pulls. Feeling pretty good. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to enter the giveaway if you're not already. There'll be a thing somewhere soon. And thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.